hey you guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Yvette today we're gonna be doing a video on things that I personally think that you absolutely need when having twins if you don't know my twins are six months old as of right well they're not even six months yet they'll be six months on the 18th of August so they're six months and it's a couple of things that I feel like that I absolutely wouldn't have been able to do without during this whole process so just to introduce the guest, this is Kaylani and this is Khalil, which he's about to cry. <laughs> the first item they're actually already sitting on. So these two boppies are items that I feel like I would have not been able to do without. And I say that because these are actually called newborn loungers. So the bottom of it, I know you all probably have seen boppies to wear they have like, it's just a U, oops, sorry. It's just a U shape and the this is just like an empty space. But the reason why I like these better is because when they were newborns, these made it easier. So if I wanted to sit them down on the ground, like in front of a TV or just so they won't be up on the couch, I could sit them down on the ground and, and it wouldn't be uncomfortable for them. Also, I used to sit these like in a chair um, while I was sitting at the table so I can watch them as you can see right now they're on the ottoman so they're just able to chill here now I will admit as they get older the I don't use these as much because now they're rolling and sliding down and just more movement so even when I put them on the floor sometimes they will actually roll off However, the, I still do use these occasionally just in case I want to put on Coco Melon and just let them watch the TV on the floor. So these are the first items. They're about $40 each. I believe they're like $39.99 and I got these both from Target. So I definitely would recommend these. And also another tip that I have is that say for instance you're taking the twins over to a family member house just so they can watch them or keep them for whatever these came in handy because even when i go to my mom's house now i will still throw these in my car before i go because if you think about it when you go other places it's not as easy as having just one baby where you could just hold the baby the whole time you know or a family member might not want to always hold your other baby the whole time so it's just easier with twins that you, if you want to set them down right quick you could just put these boppies on the floor in front of the tv and just sit them there so you can enjoy your time so you don't have to worry about holding them the whole time because sometimes I know with my twins, they don't necessarily like being in the car seat, which I don't blame them because it's just so cramped up. You know, it's just, these are a little bit more comfortable. The boppies are the first items. Let's go ahead and get into the second. All right, you guys. So the remainder of this video is going to be done as a voiceover, just so it can go a little bit quicker for you and for me. So the second item is going to be the bumble seats. Now, these seats I actually got from Bed Bath & Beyond. I really like these seats because it works well for babies that do not have the ability to sit up on their own yet. So, the seats are very deep and they come up high on the back. So, that way the baby cannot lean over and fall out or anything like that what made me get these seats is that when the twins started to get a little older they didn't always want to be laying down on their back they wanted to be looking around and just be more pre be more i guess they were just more conscious of their surroundings so they wanted to look around and i noticed that they were crying a lot if you were just to sit them down so once i got these seats and they knew that they could just turn their head around look around things like that they loved it so i definitely recommend these seats as the twins get a little older i purchased this when they were about four months old sometimes they don't like to stay in the seats they do just want to relax so i also have the swings now the swings let me tell y'all i purchased a 198 dollar swing that swayed back and forth from side to side came in different molds played different songs played white noise and they don't like it <laughs> these swings were less than fifty dollars and they love them all they do is rock back and forth i really don't even play the ba baby music that come with it but they will sit in these swings and sit there and watch coco melon as well um as they get older around the age that the twins are or even older than that definitely you want to make sure that you strap them in because so many times they have just turned around flipped over 
And I'm like, oh my goodness, this was like when I was just realizing that they knew how to roll over. So now I make sure that I strap them in so we don't have any accidents. So just keep this in mind when you are looking for a swing, you guys, because so many people say that their babies don't even like the most expensive one. So just be mindful. This stroller is the Hello Mockingbird double seat stroller. What made me go with this stroller is because it was the most inexpensive on the market for a twin stroller that was like it was it's a good quality. Um, all of the ones that I were looking at were like over a thousand dollars and this was a little bit over 500. So I really appreciated the price difference and that it was still of good quality and. What I'm doing now is attaching the car seat attachments. So what I loved about having this stroller is that you can just put the babies right from their car seat onto the stroller. You don't have to worry about taking them out. And that was something that I was really looking for when I was looking for a stroller. I, it had to be a stroller where I could just plop the car seat right onto the stroller. I didn't want to inconvenience the baby of having to take the baby out, put them in a the stroller, then take them out of the stroller, put them in the car seat. It just was too much. Okay. So I really like this stroller, you guys. And the only inconvenience is the fact that you have to have the attachments in order for it to work, um, in order to adapt the car, attach the car seat to the stroller. But it's not too much of an inconvenience. Just keep it in your trunk. That way you'll always have it. You won't worry about not having it because if you don't have it, you will not be able to attach the car seat. It also comes with like two um, actual like stroller chairs, but right now the twins are not old enough to sit in those. So I just continue to use these, but when they start getting older, then I'll adjust. And to break it down, you just take the attachments off and you just fold it right on up. I usually keep it in my trunk so I won't have to worry about moving it too much but I just you know wanted to demonstrate for you guys now the diaper genie is an item where I feel like even if you're having one baby you should have but especially when you're having multiples because you go through so many pampers and you don't want the pampers to just be laying around because then it can start smelling and you just don't want that. So the Diaper Genie makes it easy because you could put the soil pampers inside the Diaper Genie and it has a deodorizer at the top so that the smell doesn't get out. And then when it gets too full, you just open the bottom of it up and it has a cutter attached to it already. So you just cut the bag and then you just tie the end of it and then you can start using just like normal. So this item, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend because it is just, it, it is just a gift from God. Like you just need it. You go through Pampers and Pampers stink. So you definitely need this. Now, this bottle maker is the Baby Brezza. Now, the reason why I got this bottle maker is because it actually makes the bottles for you, which we spend so much time making bottles with twins. Sometimes they're not on the same eating schedule. So I felt like that I was constantly making bottles all day and it could just get tiring. So I wouldn't necessarily say you need this item, but if you are able to splurge, if you are able to afford it, I definitely would recommend it because it just made our life 10 times easier. I call it the baby carrot because it's just like the carrot that you use to make your coffee. So right now I'm just putting the nursery water in the back of it. And then I'm just taking the top off to top the formula off. And usually what we do is we try to keep a empty bottle on the actual bottle maker so that whenever we're whenever we need to make a bottle it's already there and say for instance we're not by the maker we can just use our phone to make the bottle when you have the bottle on the device you want to make sure the light at the top is green or it will not make the bottle it has to be green so that goes into my next thing of showing you guys how you make the bottle if you're not by the bottle maker so all you have to do is download the app when you open the app 
they have it to where you can add different bottles. So I have one named Khalil, one named Kehlani. I want to make the bottle for Kehlani, which is six ounces. So I'm going to go ahead and start it and it'll just make the bottle upstairs. This comes in handy, especially since we have a upstairs and downstairs. If I'm downstairs, I can just go ahead and have the, the bottle maker make the bottle and it's just ready to go. I don't have to worry about doing anything extra. It just does it for me. <laughs> We also have a water warmer, so that's by Brezza also, but this one only just warms the water. So this came in handy a lot when the twins were first born before we had the other one that I showed you all. So this one just allows us to put warm water in the bottle and then we could just add the formula. I use this a lot if I'm going out and I don't want to actually make the bottle. I just want the water to be hot. I just use this so I could just add the formula and that's it. The last item is a bottle sterilizer, which by the end of the day, after we have cleaned the bottles and used so many of them, putting them in the bottle sterilizer just helps to make sure that their bottles are sterilized at all times. You also can put pacifiers in here, which comes in handy because if you've seen earlier in the video, Kaylani dropped her pacifier on the floor. So this just sterilizes it and makes sure it's just nice and clean from those germs. This also comes in handy when you have bottles that you may have received from baby shower or that you may have purchased. You could just take it right from the package and put it into the sterilizer and it will sterilize the bottles for you. And it takes literally like 10 to 15 minutes. Now, it doesn't clean the bottles because I know a lot of people thought that it cleaned the bottles for me. No, it just sterilizes it and it dries it. But it still comes in handy because all I have to do is wash the bottles out and I just put them in here and it dries it for me and I don't have to worry about anything else or if I just bought some new bottles I just put them in here they sterilize it and I don't have to worry about anything from the factory or anything just being left in my baby's bottles so that's it you guys I hope you enjoyed this video if it's anything that I may have missed comment down below and as always please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video bye